Hey, John Marion here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to add RAM to the Dell uh, Tower. And I've done some videos on YouTube about the Dell Tower. It's really easy to open and to add upgrades. And I'm going to get into some detail about adding RAM. So what I did is I bought eight megabyte of RAM and it came, came in the mail. And I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to open it up. Hopefully I actually got what I ordered. Let's see. Yeah, this is the Patriot uh, signature line. And it's eight megabyte of RAM. There are two cards in there. And you can see that. And it, it looks like what I ordered. Just double check it here on the screen. Yep. That's, uh, that's what I ordered. So it came, uh, it came in the mail. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tower. I'm going to shut down my computer, get this tower up here on my desk, and uh, I will come back and I'll show you how to open it again. And, um, and I think there's a few other things I may want to do inside, but I'm going to add this additional RAM and I'll explain the process of doing that. Okay, so I have my Dell computer up on my desk uh, right now, and I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. And um, anyway, I'm going to show you a detailed step-by-step -step process for adding uh, RAM cards into the Dell Tower, the XPS Tower. And in a previous video, I showed how to open the tower, and I'm going to show that a little bit clearer and be more deliberate in how I show you this. So on the back, the only thing you need to do is to go up to this lever right here. And I'm gonna put that back in so I can get a better angle. This is a button that just pulls out. And that's all this does. So you pull this out and it unlatches the top of the cover. And sometimes it jams a little bit, but it does come right out. And then you can lift it off the bottom and um, on the bottom these four um, four pins if you will fit into four slots and I'll show that in some detail when I replace this so that's how easy it is to get the side cover off and then this part uh, the fan basically and another uh, piece of the frame here actually pulls out and it's very easy to open that there are two slides and uh, the bottom says lock or shows a, a lock, a padlock locked, and the top shows a padlock unlocked. So that's how you know uh, how it's positioned. So you slide them up so they're unlocked and then just, um, just grab it, hold the box steady and it pulls out. It's a little bit stiff, but it's on hinges and it just pulls out. And isn't this great? You have um, just total access to your computer. And I may, uh, I may edit in some photographs or some other video in here, but you can see my two uh, cards here. Okay, so what I discovered about this RAM, uh, actually made a video on redoing a section of it uh, because I discovered a better way of doing it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the, I have two uh, four gigabyte memory cards that came with this Dell computer when I purchased it from the factory. And there are four slots, so you can get a total of four cards, memory cards, in here, uh, RAM. So what they did when they installed it is um, one slot has a white, white tabs on either end. The next one, the next slot next to it has black tabs, and, the, and then the next one after that has white tabs, and then the fourth one has black tabs. And what I found out is that uh, I need to move one card uh, from the white tab slot to the, the black tab slot that's adjacent to the other one. Uh, and that makes a pair, I guess, uh, because it wouldn't boot up. What I did is I put the two new cards in these two blank spots, and I thought that was the way to pair this up. But it wouldn't boot up. Nothing would happen. So um, I found out that by moving this card to the next slot... Um, freed up those other two slots for the two new cards. So the way to take these out is you just push on these tabs and it kind of
kind of leverages it right out of the slot. And then you line it up to the slot that you want to put it in. And by the way, um, there is a notch in uh, the, the memory card that you can see here. And if you look at it very quickly, it looks like it's in the halfway point of the card, but it's actually not. It's actually to one side and um, one side more. So as it's oriented to be installed in this Dell tower, um, the, the slot is a little bit lower uh, than halfway point. Um, so you just have to line it up. It's kind of dark in there, but if you just keep it uh, lined up with that notch, it goes right in if you line it up correctly. There you go. And then just push it and those tabs, in this case, the two black tabs on either side, helps it snap into place and you can push on those to make sure that it's in there. And then now I'm going to install uh, the new cards that I bought. And this is a four gigabyte of memory in this card and push it in there and it goes right in there. And then uh, the next card, same thing, make sure it's oriented the right way and it goes right in there, snaps into place. Uh, so just to recap, I, I moved one card uh, over so that they were adjacent, then the two new cards I put in there. And you can, you can see that maybe a little bit better this way. I may edit a photograph in here so that you can get a better look at that. But it's very easy to do this, and I'm gonna show now how to close up the system. Uh, it's very easy. I'll use the recording that I made previously. Uh, one thing I did notice that when it is installed uh, and booted up, the system gave me a message that the that it detected more RAM. And if this was a mistake, you know, uh, back out and make sure your RAM is seated correctly. So it's kind of a confusing message. It's like, well, I, yeah, I installed it and I'm pretty sure it's seated correctly. So it wasn't clear whether it was giving, it wasn't really giving me a message saying your RAM is not seated correctly but it was just saying it detects more RAM, make sure it's seated correctly, which doesn't make sense. So I had the option of continuing. I clicked continue and it booted up fine. So anyway, and I'm really um, glad to be doing yeah. this. Uh, so I wanna recap uh, a few things in previous videos that I made uh, with this computer. Um, I added, uh, what I did, the main thing I did is I upgraded to a solid state hard drive. And the solid state hard drive um, is sitting in the slot where the original hard drive was. I believe that's where the hard, hard drive from the factory was installed in this slot. And a hard drive is just uh, basically a card. And um, right now the, yes, the uh, solid state hard drive. And I just have it all hooked up and just sitting in that slot where the original hard drive was installed. And then this box had two more slots for hard drives. And uh, so I moved the one original hard drive into one of these slots and I added an additional hard drive. Uh, so I have that. And additionally, oh, here it is. I'm gonna show you something else I have. Um, I bought one of these and maybe I'll do a, um, a video on this. Uh, this is a, um, a great little product uh, that um, it's a docking station for hard drives, basically. So uh, I have additional hard drives that I use as backup. And uh, I love using this because I could have access to the data on here. Uh, in some cases I have redundant data. I have, I have a bunch of other cards that I use as backups, hard drives. Uh, so this is a great addition and this just plugs in. I don't know if it plugs in with a USB or what is it? Yeah, it just plugs in with a USB. Uh, so this is really super easy to use to add additional memory. And I, I store a lot of photographs and um, and some video on these hard drives. So all my, all my data is on hard drives. The solid state drive is used mainly for, I guess, running the operating program and it boot, the, the, uh, the computer boots up really quickly uh, with the solid state hard drive. So anyway, I, I recommend that as an upgrade. The downside to a solid state hard drive is that uh, you can't really run programs directly from it because there's not a lot of memory. It's not really designed to, to hold memory, but it's designed to be a fast way of um, booting up your system and, 
and it, it, it works great when as soon as you turn on your computer you, it's almost instantly on uh, so that's a that's a whole lot better than booting up from a hard drive uh, so anyway uh, I'm finished adding my memory and this uh, closes and once I have that closed I just slide those two slides down and that is locked in place and then uh, the cover so I want to show you the cover again we have four of these slots and I'm going to line them up to the four in the case and as I do that it just kind of slides right in place and it's flush on the bottom and then I pull this lever again on the top and that closes and I uh, just let go of that and it's it's done. So this is a great computer. Everything is accessible uh, on the back. There's a number of USB ports and uh, um, and for your internet connection and, and whatnot. And on the, the front, the only thing I'm going to point out the front, this is the only negative thing that I don't like. It's not a big deal. It's not a deal killer. I buy this again all day long. Um, but I keep this computer underneath my desk. And there are four slots for USB ports. Uh, there's a slot for a microphone, a slot for headphones, and then an SD card, and then the on off the power button. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is it's all black, obviously, and the printing is very small and it's not even white, it's like a gray. So when that's under my desk in the shadow, I cannot see what any of these say. It's not a big deal because obviously I, I could kind of see the USB ports, but sometimes it's hard to see that in the shadow, well, especially if I have three uh, plugged in and I've got one, and uh, or actually if I have one plugged in and I've got three, it's, it's kind of hard to see exactly where they are. Uh, but this is the real killer for me. I usually keep headphones plugged in. I never, are you, I'm not using an external microphone. I pick that off of a webcam uh, for the microphone when I need that. But sometimes I have to unplug my headphones for whatever reason, and then when I go to plug it back in, when it's in the shadow, I cannot tell which which hole that should be, the microphone and the headphones. I can't see it because the lighting is not good. And so I wish they would have made this top portion something like orange, and then those dark spots would, would show up easier. You can see exactly where to plug it in. And if those, um, those symbols would be like a, a true white, almost like the Dell, uh, signal or the label down here, uh, that would be better. You could, it'd be easier to use them, it'd be more readable. And, and uh, so that's the only downside, the only kind of source of frustration in using this. Sometimes when I have to plug things in under my desk, I can't see quickly uh, where I need to plug and unplug things. So other than that, uh, that's how you add memory. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna plug everything back in, put my, all my wires in, actually putting the wires back in my computer, plugging the power, uh, the various USB uh, devices, the mouse. Uh, well, actually, the mouse is wireless, so I have that that card back there. Um, but the the keyboard, um, the hard drives, uh, a few other things. That's more work uh, to put that together than it was to put the uh, the upgrade upgraded RAM. So I'm really happy uh, with this box. It's so easy to upgrade. And uh, if you have any questions, I will say one disclaimer. I'm not a geek. I am not a computer expert in any way. Uh, this is not what I do full time, uh, but I'm just a guy that worked with computers for a long time. I had my first uh, desktop computer probably in 1986, something like that, when, um, when it just started becoming a thing that people had computers in their home. And, um, and I got online pretty quickly, used to dial in, you know, to get on the internet. It really wasn't much of an internet back then. But anyway, I've been working with computers a while, um, but I'm not an expert. So if you ask me a really highly detailed um, uh, technical question, I, I may not be able to answer you at all. But if you have any questions about what I've shown and want more details, I'd be glad to take some photographs or make other videos uh, to, uh, to make clear what I've done today and how you can, uh, you can install RAM or upgrade your hard drives or anything practical like that. So thanks a lot. Please give me a thumbs up and, uh, if you, um, and subscribe to my page. I, I post on a, very, a number of different topics, but I do have a playlist for technical things and gadgets and gizmos and things like that. So anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.